everybody and welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's leo speaking um today i'm going to show you that you can apply um effects on using repex on the audio which or track that you ripped of course before i start i would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as that helps bring in more tutorials like this one more videos etc etc so i have uploaded uh, um, this uh, track it's quite a simple track but it's quite effective so let's select um, um, all those notes like so okay now let's click up here and of course it will change the effect which is in this case is uh, called level and it will play straight away let's click on the three dots so here you can see you can apply lots of different effects and you can apply them real time so let's start with the first one so you can adjust the level when you when you let go of course it will play again so you can do it in real time of course you can adjust the panning as well or also the low pass or you can decide to adjust the high pass as well so it's just cut off for the low pass and uh, cut off for the high pass you i come back these to pitch to scale and um, but you can quantize the pitch you can flatten the pitch and this quite this one is quite nice you can add a vibrato and you can see the waveform changing which is nice you can slide the pitch as well here Do a shift of the format, and so it will add those uh, characteristics, which is quite nice. And this one is superb. You can add um, harmony, a third of an as an interval up or, or octave up, one octave or two octaves. And of course you can add the reverb delay and even reverse uh, the waveform as well and even more interesting what you can do you can randomize all the effect above which is really nice of course you can decide to remove here the one you ch which you don't want to be randomized like so all right um but anyway so the the thing which i wanted to show you is the the uh pitch to scale in order to um use that at the moment this one is a c major so you you can see here at the bottom uh, left it said uh, um set the music scale so click on it so let's say that instead of c major we want uh, uh, a c natural minor okay and then what we do here we just move up here in the bar and it says add scale to change right so and that is where we apply uh, the same as well okay and the same there as well 
Okay, so let's listen now. Oops, let's remove the random light. Let's select these again. Okay, let's uh, um, now go up here, pitch to scale, and let's adjust it. And you can see it has changed the scale to be a C minor. Okay, let's listen again. And of course, if I change that down to zero, it goes back to be a C major. So a lot of different effects that you can apply. So we have seen how to apply the pitch to scale, the level, the steropanning, low and high pass in terms of cutoff, then uh, you can, I haven't shown this one, but uh, you can quantize to the pitch, but this is um, the right pitch because I used the a do to actually do that. But you can flatten the pitch, you can add the vibratos, light pitch, hide the shift formant, the harmony is really, really nice, and then hard the classical reverb delay effect. Uh, the one I haven't shown as well is the reverse. Let me show you that one. Okay, so you can hear that a little bit. Back to normal. Okay, so a quick tutorial to show you that you can apply effects, of course, on the track that you ripped using Ripex. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.